Granny Australia and Alcoa have been partnering together for nearly 30 years. Supporting the Bio4 project with funding from the Alcoa Foundation gives us the opportunity to work together to jointly address what is a problem for both communities and industries alike. Greening Australia's overall mission is transforming our landscapes and the very key whole grain approach to that is putting trees in the ground. This investigation, if successful, has enormous potential in terms of building a business case that effectively integrates bioenergy and biodiversity gain into the farming system. What we're doing is we've selected a range of native tree and shrub species and we're having a look at their growth potential and their energy yield potential. We're able to extrapolate how many tonnes of material we can grow per hectare like you would any other commercial crop and how much energy you can extract from those species. So it's a relatively simple process. Material is harvested, it's wood chipped and then it's a straightforward exercise of converting that material to what we call syngas, uh, which is derived through burning material in an extraordinarily low oxygen scenario. Syngas is then produced and can be burnt for energy outputs, uh, including biofuels, and the byproduct of those thermal processes is biochar. And the definition of biochar is quite simple that ordinarily charcoal is utilised for burning, basically, and the differentiation with biochar is that it's used as a soil amendment. Uh, it's effectively charcoal that's made out of biomass, so in kind of vegetation from the trees. You can store it in soil and you can grow trees on top of it. The trees grow better, faster, stronger, and they also sequester carbon into the soils. The utilisation of biochar beneath our revegetation would give us a double outcome in terms of carbon storage in the soil as well as carbon storage in the trees. We don't know of anyone else who is trying to tie all these things together to drive that landscape restoration. No one else has been out there to go out and assess the economic potential of what's growing in our backyards. The full implications of the successful research around the integration of mixed native species bioenergy plantations on farms is the potential to produce significant renewable energy outputs such as syngas for the production of biofuels. We're also talking about the production of biochar, which has a carbon storage potential that can extend to thousands of years in the soil. So what we have is a potential to look at a carbon negative approach in terms of drawing CO2 actually down from the atmosphere.